It hadn't been very cold when you first arrived in town, but as the sun dips closer and closer to the horizon, a chill descends upon the hollow, and you see your situation with renewed clarity. <coughs> you're, in, <coughs> excuse me. you're in a new place far from civilization, and the people you know following someone you just met into a dark forest in search of monsters. You feel... Hmm. Sense of foreboding. More alive than you've been in years. Strangely calm, tense, unsettled. More alive than you've been in years. You feel alive. The fall breeze passing through the leaves. The orange hue of the setting sun painting the horizon. The promise of excitement ahead. It's been a while since you felt this in the moment, this presence, the world around you feels almost magical. Where a mythical creature to actually manifest in front of you is it would fit perfectly in this world. You gotta love this brisk fall weather. This past summer was the hottest on record, since last year at least. You know how it is these days. Each summer is the hottest yet until the next summer, which always finds a way to be so much worse. It's just nice to feel a chill in the air and see the leaves change, like normalcy is restored, if only for a moment. Sorry if that was a bit of a bummer. We should talk about something more fun, like skunk capes. Are you really expecting to find anything? Do you ever hunt things that aren't cryptics? Like ghosts or whatnot? Has anything bad ever happened on these hikes? What's the weirdest thing you've seen in these woods? Okay, let's do this one. Other than anything cryptic related, of course. Oh god, that's a good one. Let me think. Well, there's always been the deer I saw stealing baby birds out of a nest and eating them. That was pretty messed up. But I think most people know about that these days. I've seen tons of videos of other deer doing it. So I'm not sure if it counts as weird anymore. Oh, Tetanus Lake. That's definitely the weirdest. It was a 5 foot deep, 30 feet 30 foot wide pile of old cans and bottles and assorted garbage with grass and trees growing on it so you could barely tell it was there until you stepped on it. It was particularly solid ground with how much it had been compressed but you could still fall through if you weren't careful hence the name. Better, better be up on your shots if you want to mess around in there. It was all stuff from the 50s too. Which was super neat. I salvaged a few bottles that I keep on, on my dresser as a little souvenir. Are you really expecting to find anything? Do you ever hunt things that aren't cryptic like phantom and ghosts? Hmm... Yeah, I'll do this one. You know, like, just curious. Hmm, let me think. There was a time back in the early high school when Reese fell down a cliff. But he was fine. We had some folks from town rig up a pulley to get him out of the ravine. And his leg only took a couple of months to heal. All in all, not too bad. But I guess there was also that time I was out here alone and kind of got stuck in a cave. I was getting great footage of what I thought was a family of wampus cats, but I wasn't able to wiggle my way back out. Turns out that the wampus cats were actually skunks who were very much, who very much did not appreciate me blocking the entrance to their hidey hole. Hidey hole? 
And instead of running for help, Gretchen just sat outside, bored, the tears, lassie, she is not. It took about an hour to go loose. This was pretty intense, but a few tomato juice bats later, I was right as rain. So I could have been so it could have been a lot worse. And there was a time I accidentally stumbled onto a old Duke's property, I nearly got my head shot off. But that happens to everyone sooner or later. I barely counted. It barely counted. So yeah, these hikes aren't all that dangerous, all things considered. Hmm, are you sure it's safe? Are you really expecting to find anything? Hmm, okay, that's the first one. I'm sorry, did you say you almost got shot? Are you sure it's safe here? You know, I'm a little bit surprised to see you getting cold feet. I know we're just mad, but I had you packed as pretty adventurous. I really wouldn't really worry about Duke, though. He might be a little jumpy, but he means well. And these trails are way off from his farm. And if it makes you feel any better, I've been out on a trail with him before. The man sounds like a truck crashing through the woods when he walks. We'll hear him long before he sees us. And the wildfire wildlife isn't anything to be afraid of either. The worst I've seen up here is the occasional black bear. Bear, sorry, black bear. And even they scare easy. But hey, there's no point worrying about whatever bad stuff may happen to us. Sure, sometimes worrying can help you prepare for something, but we're as prepared as can be. I even carry bear mace. And if you're prepared as you can be, why give it why give in to your anxiety when you can have fun instead? It's not like being anxious ever stops anything bad from happening. In my experience, all it does is make the bad thing worse. The only thing you can do is tell yourself this has happened. There is no going back to before this bad thing happened and then you work on making things better hmm that's interesting uh anyway all this to say we're good don't worry hmm you know like ghosts demons werewolves that sort of thing yeah for sure I used to go after all sorts of spooky stuff, I never had much luck though, especially when it comes to ghosts. Back when I first started doing solo videos, <clears throat> I go into all sorts of old abandoned buildings, hoping I stumble across some sort of activity. But nothing ever happened, it was always just me and my camera in old house, getting worked up over a gust of wind or a creaky floorboard. When all said and done, I've just been a lot luckier than with cryptics. <clears throat> I want to believe in ghosts so bad, and I can't rule out the possibility that there really that there really are true hauntings out there. But if there are, I'm sure as heck haven't seen any myself. Werewolves are kind of lump in with cryptids. I'd be shocked if there actually were people out there who turned into animals, but werewolves lore lines up pretty well with the great beast genre of cryptid. As for demons, I don't know, I honestly don't even want to consider the possibility that they exist, because if they're really out there, jeez, a lot of folks are doomed to an eternity of flames. So let's hope all of that's just bunk, am I right? What about uh, aliens? What do you think about aliens? Don't even get me started. Did you see those UFO videos the government declassified? Aliens are definitely real. And they have absolutely visited Earth. Like, I believe in aliens way more than I believe in cryptids. You don't see me hunting aliens out here because we know they're real. Hmm, they exist... There exist things beyond our realm, but I wouldn't call them aliens. Heck yeah, aliens are real. 
Yeah, definitely this one. Nice! I knew we had a connection. <laughs> I knew somebody who knows somebody who heard the story from this trucker in Fayetteville. This truck stopped in the middle of the road. It just shut down completely. Even though he had a full tank of gas. And suddenly it looked like daylight outside. He could see cows out in the fields, birds in the sky. And then this metallic, like, egg thing appeared floating in front of his truck. He passed out and when he woke up he was missing one of his pinkies. It was like it had never been there. It was just smooth skin. Where a pinky should be. Okay. <laughs> I know it's a second hand source. But there's plenty more like it. And if they are true. Hmm. I'm convinced. Makes sense to me. For sure. And even if this one's hogwash. There's a lot of evidence out there. Oh crap. Did you hear that?